Sagittarius, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for February 7th through the 13th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Saji. What is going on? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Cups, happiness, yay! In the recent past, the Empress, the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, walking away from someone uh, here. It's, it's coming in as an energy of it's the right thing to do, you know, from a very logical place rather than the heart speaking here. In the current situation, the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Hangman, it feels like you're um, having a little bit of a hard time. There's something that you may learn, something new you may learn, something new you may be studying for, I don't know. Um, there's definitely a new element to this in terms of you getting ready for something or studying something. And I feel like there's a sense of feeling stuck for some reason in here. Um, in the immediate future, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Chariot. Still continuing through this energy of feeling stuck. It's funny how the energies still move, though. Even though you're in a place of, I'm um, in my head about things, I'm just going to sit here. And that's it. The energies are moving around you. And I'm not sure if you're grabbing them yet, given that... You may not even know that these energies are moving. Um, man, there's an energy of moving on here, which I don't know if you're grabbing again. Um, which it's okay, you'll grab it when you know when you're ready, when you see it. But for right now, I see it kind of passing. But let's see, let's see what's going on here. Let me see the ten of cups. Ace of pentacles, nine of pentacles, page of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, this is the energy of moving on. Almost like uh, learning or relearning how to do that, how to move on, how to find something brand new someplace else in another place than uh, you were before. Let's see the empress in the recent past. <clears throat> Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, Six of Swords. Definitely someone getting the hell out of Dodge. And I kind of get the sense that it's the both of you. So it's them. I don't know if them first, you second, doesn't even freaking matter. It's a split. A one goes that way, the other one goes the other way. Uh, let's do the Five of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, the Tower of the Hermit. Very uh, healing, this experience, especially the loss of the situation. Very healing for you. I see you working on this for quite some time and healing from this for quite some time. But the end result there is the Queen of Swords, which is coming out quite practical about things. Let's see. Yeah. The Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. You're still kind of inside. You are still kind of struggling with this energy of losing this situation. But on the, on the surface, you're showing me an energy of, I'm in control, I got this. Inside, not only were you struggling with this, you were rejecting this. You're like, I don't have to deal with this. I don't care. I don't care about this. But... While you were saying, I don't care about them, I don't care about this, I don't know, you didn't care about what you felt, you. Not them, not everything else. So that's why the difficulty kind of came. 
Because while you were thinking you were rejecting them, you were actually rejecting yourself in the way that you felt. Uh, let's do the Page of Pentacles. In the current situation, the Magician, the Four of Swords, the Emperor. Definitely gaining information. I kind of see you in this direction of opening yourself up to learning more and more and more about just stepping into your power, just feeling like I'm me, I'm perfect, I'm this, I'm that, I'm the other, I am, basically. Um, just learning about that. There's a whole lot of manifesting around that, around you finding yourself, which is beautiful. Uh, let me see the Eight of Swords, though, because there's also a sense of getting stuck on this path that you're embarking on. For the Eight of Swords, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. You're refusing to let the pain go. And it feels like you're having a hard time uh, finding a place of balance, a place of... Think of it this way, there's you and there's this new space of balance, of brand new, of you stepping into your power of all of the good juju. It's right here in front of you. Um, and you are getting ready to step into this new place, right? As you step into this place, you also have like this big ass luggage of pain. And you're like, hey, new place, I'm going to bring this in too. And the new place is like, sorry, you only paid for one, you know? Yeah, but this is, this is not two, this is part of me. Well, yeah, but it looks like it's a part of you that was in the past that needed to heal to be released and so on and so forth. So it's like, to me, Saji, you're kind of looking like two right now. No, 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 it's just one. I promise you, you're not even gonna notice this. Nope. So you dealing with this brand new energy feels kind of hard because you keep on insisting to bring in the pain. And it's very, very stubborn, kind of grabbing onto that luggage and not letting it go. And this new place is not allowing more than one Saggy in there. Not the old Saggy, not the future Saggy, the Saggy that is. And the Saggy that is has this little luggage of pain. Let's do the hangman. In the current situation, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Cups. Oh, so there's a soul connection that's popping up for you here. Um. <laughs> You're telling me I'm not interested in it. I don't want to go with it. I don't care for it. And no. Um, but then the, the, the energies, the cards are kind of giving you away here. Because you may tell me that all you want. There's something here calling you when it comes to this connection. There's your heart from back there where you locked it. It's kind of like, hey, can you unlock me? I want to go play. And you're like, no. Nope. So in regards to this connection, even though it's here and you are showing every sign possible that you're walking away from it, you're actually not. You're actually standing by. Uh, you didn't go anywhere, energetically speaking. Physically, poof, you may have gone to China. I don't know. Energetically, nope. Let's do the Two of Swords. In the immediate future, the Empress, the High Priestess, the King of Cups. The Emperor showed up for you to open up the reading in your recent past. So that situation there, where there was definitely a split, really, really marked you. Now, I don't know, we use recent past just as a notion of time for us to figure out, because energy doesn't know time. This could have happened 20, 30 years ago. There's definitely one connection of importance to you from which you got out with a <clears throat> closed down heart basically you know close for renovations kind of hard and your love it, it almost feels like your heart got stuck in time to that place to that person when that person left that's it they took their they took your heart they took whatever they took everything and they can't take your heart unless you give it to them. Yeah, well, I gave it. Mm -mm. You didn't. You just shut it down. 
So they're showing back up again. And there's a whole lot of confusion, especially surrounding the love aspect. Like what did they do with the love I had? What they didn't do anything, you did. You know, nobody did anything to your love, it's yours. But they definitely had an impact there. And it was supposed to bring out some things inside of you for you to heal, for you to look at, for you to, to work with. And I don't know if you did, but they're coming back up for you to look at. For the Eight of Cups in the immediate future, you get the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, the Two of Cups. Yeah, some time, some place, some, some. You walked away from the concept of love, of really believing in true love for you. You can't believe in love as long as your love is locked behind the door somewhere. You can't. You've got nothing to go on. You know? How can you believe in something that you don't have to offer? How can it happen? It can't, right? So I see you kind of going back, revisiting those energies of the past and kind of digging through those and seeing where your heart is because it's not here. It's not here for now. Let's do the chariot in the immediate future. The four of cups, the three of pentacles, the lovers. Yeah, I mean, this connection may be presenting itself back up in the form of a friendship or, hey, let's hang out still, you know, let's not hold any grudges, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I don't see you liking that. Whatever way they're presenting themselves back, if they are, you're not liking that. So, I don't know. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. King of Swords, the Sun, the Six of Cups. You can't... You can, oh, man. Saggy. You can't create happiness from the mind. That's what you want to do here. You know, you're going with the situation because it makes sense, but not because it makes you truly happy. But you tell yourself, no, it's because it makes me truly happy. Are you feeling it? Yes, because my mind tells me that I'm feeling happy. No, 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 no. No, I didn't ask you about the mind. I asked you, are you feeling it? Yes, because the mind and blah, 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 blah. No, you know? Just go and dig for your heart because it's somewhere here. Nobody took it. Nobody ran off with it. It's yours. If anything, you probably locked it away. So by the looks of it, I kind of see you almost settling, almost letting your mind tell you what looks right, what feels right. Not you feeling it and seeing it. So there is this soul connection that you're kind of playing here. The, I don't want it. Take it away from me. Your heart is kind of craving for it. But given that your heart is closed off, you may not notice that. But even from your mind, you're kind of going in this direction. And you're like, well, you know, eventually if it makes sense, I'll go for it. Your mind is not just, you know, inventing things from nowhere. It is communicating with the heart as much as you close off your heart. You know? So, um, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.